Coach, when most people talk about this Ohio State team, the word improvement is always used. And then when they talk internally about this team, maybe the offensive line was one of the groups that improved the most within this most improved team. Why the improvement? Well, I think to start out with, we have great kids here and we have a lot of athletic ability and talent in our offensive line. We just lack the experience, playing experience that they needed to become really good football players. And we were still working out what the fundamental issues were with each player. So this first game of the season against Navy, we have a lot of, you know, in, inexperience. Guys are a little nervous. So we start here with uh, just a basic drop back pass protection. And our left guard, Pat Elfline, who ended up making first team all Big Ten, oversets, lunges a little bit. As you can see, he lunges, ducks his head. And the next thing you know, he's beat on an inside rush, which is really a cardinal sin of offensive line never to get beat inside. Why is that? Why is it so bad to get beat inside? Well, you don't want to get beat inside because this is going to move the quarterback off his spot and the quarterback can't step up and throw. If he gets beat to the outside, the quarterback can step up in the pocket and we still have a chance to complete a ball on time. You mentioned Elfline becomes an all-conference player, but he wasn't against Navy. What was your message to them? Uh, the message was just fundamentals carry you through because things happen in the game that don't always get practiced. Say that again. Things don't happen in the game. Things don't happen in the game always like they're practiced. Right, that's great. That is a great coaching point. Because in practice, we try to give our guys perfect looks. And we want the scout team or the look team to do exactly what we want because we're trying to simulate another team. But in games, there's human beings, there's individuals out there playing, and they don't always do what they're coached to do. So we showed the first game against the Naval Academy. Here's our last game against the team up north. We've moved Pat to right guard, 65, and he's blocking the inside rush here. And watch how he quick sets, stays square, uses his hands. And then he does a great job of pushing the defender through, bouncing off on a twist. So we call this a, a twist game inside. And he does a great job of stopping the penetrator, the inside rush, and then bouncing back and staying square on the twist. That's an inside move that against Navy gave Pat a hard time. Yeah, in the Navy game, he missed on that. He overset, he lunged, the guy beats him inside, and the quarterback's off the spot. Here you stop the inside penetration, the quarterback doesn't feel anything here, as you can see. So he can just sit in there and progress through his reads and make a nice, accurate throw. There's a lot of talk about your season that this game really brought the team together. And this was the defining moment for this Ohio State team. What was it like in the meeting room, after your meeting room, after the Virginia Tech loss? So this was an eye-opener for the coaches. We have to do a better job. We have to communicate better and for our players to learn to practice better. Because obviously you want to get down here on the goal right. line. You can't have a negative play and not score here. I mean, you can't walk away from these situations with field goals. You have an unblocked defender right in the hole. and They control the line of scrimmage. They, the they, can, question. they control the line of scrimmage. Now you bounce back to the last game of the season, Sugar Bowl. <laughs> here we are. We got Pat in at center because Jacoby had gotten right. hurt the play That's before. Right. So we had to substitute in Chase. He's blocking 93. We get some good movement at the point of attack. The tight end does a nice job sealing the backside. And the running back hits that seam. And I don't think he was going to get stopped on this one. He was, he was going to get in. And that was a big way to end the half as we went in 21-20 at the half. Virginia Tech penetrates, and they win that situation. You stop penetration, and you win the situation. Right, and that's the key in all those short yardage situations is penetration and controlling your gap. And we understood the importance of good first steps, good targets, and just finishing blocks.